In this lesson, we're going to talk about proofs involving statements with subsets. First off, remember that the official definition of A being a subset of B means that for all X in the universe, X is an element of A implies that X is an element of B. Simply put, every element of the smaller set is also an element of the larger set. What that means is that if we want to show that A is a subset of B, we must show this statement. We'll pick an arbitrary element of the first set and show that it's an element of the second set. Here's your first example. It's a pretty simple example, but it'll get us going. For all sets A and B, A intersect B is a subset of A. This is still a universal statement, so let's start off by declaring our sets. Let A and B be sets. Remember, this statement automatically is assuming that the sets are arbitrary. And let X be an element of A intersect B. What am I doing here? I am picking an element of the smaller set so that I can show that it's in the larger set. Often when you're doing proofs, it's nice to write down what a statement means. We've got X is an element of A intersect B. What does that mean? What is an intersection? Remember that the intersection is the concept of AND. If X is an element of A intersect B, then what we have is X is an element of A AND X is an element of B. Then X is an element of A and X is an element of B. Again, just using the definition of intersection. Now remember, always focus on where we're heading. We want X to be an element of A. We have it. We have X as an element of A. So now what we want to do is just make a quick, simple statement. In particular, X is an element of A. Again, the idea when you're writing a proof is that your reader knows a little bit about how to show basic proofs. Your reader knew when I said that A and B were sets that these sets were arbitrary. Your reader also knows that as soon as you've shown that X is an element of A, you have proven the subset relationship. So with that said, I can go ahead and put my box at the end, rather than writing some sort of concluding remark, such as therefore A intersect B is a subset of A. Your reader already knows. You picked an arbitrary element from the smaller set, and you're putting it in the larger set. Here's the next example. For all sets A, B, and C, if A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C, then A is a subset of C. It seems kind of obvious if you think about it. This is sometimes called transitivity of subsets. Let's get started. Let A, B, and C be sets. Again, they're arbitrary. Now notice we have an if-then statement. We have if this is true, then this is true. Remember from our last lesson, when we want to prove an if-then statement, the P implies Q, if you will, you assume the P, the if part, and show the Q, the then part. I'm going to assume these two, and assume A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C. Now let's prove that A is a subset of C. Think about it for a moment. I want to prove A is a subset of C. Keep your eye on where you're heading. To prove that something's a subset, you pick an arbitrary element of the smaller set and show that it's in the larger set. Here's what I'm going to do. Let X be an element of A. I want to show that X is an element of C. So how do I do that? Well, I've got some assumptions to help me. What does it mean for A to be a subset of B? It means that if X is an element of A, then X is an element of B. Let's put that in. Since A is a subset of B, we know X is an element of B. Now let's use our next assumption. Further, since B is a subset of C, X is an element of C. That's it. We let X be an element of A, and we showed X was an element of C. We're finished already. Let's summarize. We only did one style of proof during this particular lesson. How do you prove that A is a subset of B? What do you think? 
Choose an arbitrary element, x, that's an element of a, and prove that x is an element of b. Grab an element from the smaller set, show it's in the larger set.